Hi there, welcome back to Baldur's Gate. I'm Byron and we are at a carnival of some sort. See, there are several tents here. Very well. This way, good sir, over here. Oh, really? Who are you? Zeke. This way, good sir, over here. Come on, come on, take a look at the stone warrior maiden. How long has she been trapped in this petrif petrified form? No one knows. Be the first to learn for the small price of 500 gold. For that small amount of money, I shall give you a magic scroll, and with this scroll, you can release the maiden from her stone prison. Think of the gratitude she would feel to her saviors. Perhaps she's a princess from some far off land, or maybe a powerful sorceress in search of a concubine. You can't afford not to know. Buy the scroll. Uh, sorry, we're not interested. Your loss. Maybe, maybe not. That this actually way, good sir. Over here. is the statue he's talking about, Brandon. This way, good sir. Over here. So, well, 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 my friend, it's, I think it's time we parted ways. Give me your crossbow, give me your armor, give me your sword, and give me your potion. You can keep the bolts since they are worthless anyway. So that here is the stone, uh, uh, how do you say, statue of Brenwyn. And we have this nice uh, stone to flesh scroll. So I say we use it. What would you have Seldom me do? do I find so little fault with someone. I hope it lost. Thank you so very much for your most gracious compliment. And now we can talk to her. By the ice breath of Oral, tis good to see new faces and taste freedom again. I'm Brenwyn, a war priest from the Norheim Isles. I have been trapped in stone for what seems like an eternity. You have saved me, and for that I owe you my life. I am indebted to you, and by tempest I leave no debt unpaid. Let me join whichever cause you're fighting for. I should make a valuable ally and bring the favor of the Lord of Battles upon us. Well, we're always on the lookout for another warrior, and she's not really a warrior, though. Uh, but we will take her in our party. I am glad to be part of your party, war party actually. I will not make you regret your decision. A word of caution though, beware of the dark that entrapped me in stone. Transig he called himself. He was in the employ of a mercenary group, but I do not know the name. I shall see him dead before I see the shores of home again. But we have to drop someone now and the bard is going to go now. You don't really need a bard in the group. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, well, I suppose it will give me the opportunity to work on this new ballad I've been thinking of. I bet you'll never guess who the protagonists are. Okay. And that, my friends, here is Brandon a cleric. A human true neutral. A cleric. Yeah, just what we needed. A cleric. So now Jahira doesn't have to do all the healing here. She... Now, you know, gets help from another cleric. That's awesome. So, she's proficient with blunt and missile weapons. Hit points per level plus one. She has a wisdom of 16, which is decent for a cleric. Constitution and dexterity is also okay. Strength is not so good. Well, it's, it's, well, it's average. It's okay then. Intelligence is quite low, but a cleric doesn't need her intelligence. So, she, I think she's quite a good cleric. Two points better in wisdom than Jahira. By Temple Shield. Like I thought. Okay, so but as you can see, she only has one HP. She needs hit points. What do you have? You have nothing at all. Well, you could probably use chainmail. That would use, use her armor class. But 
When asked about her past, Brenman reveals that she left her home of Seawolf in the Norheim Isles at an early age. She was apparently reviled by her own people for wanting to become a priest, a station reserved exclusively for the men of the village. She harbors no resentment, realizing that their faith must face faith must face such tests or be worthless. She traveled the coast, offering her services to local militias and eventually came into the employ of an adventuring troop in the Nashkel area. Branwen had no idea what the group was that the group was participating in banditry, however, and on their first raid she barked at attacking a caravan of unarmed merchants. She rebelled and a mage named Transic turned her to stone in the ensuing fight. Despite the unfo unfavorable outcome, Brandon feels that Tempus use her action as actions approvingly. To attack those that are unarmed is the basis of villainy. It's okay, so she is true neutral. I think I can stomach that. I prefer good characters, but I guess neutral is okay too. So yeah, well, see, she's a cleric. So well, she knows healing spells. What is that here? Command. The spell enables the priest to command another creature to die or sleep for a single round. At the end of the round, the creature awakens and is unharmed. What the fuck? That's useless. Remove fear. Remove, remove fear. So we will take another entangle and another heal or bless. Bless. Nah, heal. Okay. Bring the spells in the right order here. Good. That means you could probably cast a heal spell on yourself if you need it. So now she has 9 of 17. Do it again. Very nice. 17 of 17. Great. So what's yeah, well, what do you say now? I revived her. Still trying to sell me the scroll? The statue has come to life! No shit. And he goes. Nobody needs your stupid scrolls. I had my own stupid scroll. So what's in here? A merchant. Alright, alright! got the right. best prices this side of Cormier. If you have gold in your purse, you're welcome aside in my eyes. What do you need? Well, what do you have? Oh, he doesn't buy that stuff. Oh, that's steal, not buy. Sorry. <laughs> but he still doesn't buy it. What the? Hmm. So what do you have? Mace, it's a blunt weapon, we could buy that for our cleric. Sadly, that one doesn't have any... Um, how do you call it? Oh wait, you could also use this one, right? Yeah. It's a blunt weapon, cool. I've got the best prices this side of Cormier. Sell it again. Anything nice in here? Oh, useless. Get out of here. Very well. There's another tent. And you would be Lal. <laughs> and you probably too, right? Yeah. Oh, clusterfuck. Oh, another merchant. Oh, right, I've got all the right. best prices this side of Cormier. What do you have? Oh, he buys that stuff. That's nice.
So what do you have? Lots of necklaces. Hmm. Not really much. Just regular dagger. Yep. Hurry up! Don't need it. So, what might be in here? All right, all right. That. What was a noble deal? Come on, you can do it. Leave us alone, will you? Nothing for you here. Sordrel. You there, stay back. If any of you come any closer, I'll kill her. I'm serious. Don't make me do it. All I have to do is say the last words of my spell and she'll die. What is this all about? She's a witch. She'll use her magics to poison the children of this town. She'll butcher the livestock and she'll seduce young men and make them her puppets. She must be killed. Oh wait a second, I think I got a storm outside. Hold on. Yes, I guess a storm is approaching outside and I had to close the windows. So, well... Yeah, he wants to kill a woman because he th thinks she's a witch. What are you talking about? Why the prejudice against magic user? Uh, you said it yourself that you're a mage. After all, aren't you going to kill her with your magic word? Get a hold of yourself, you idiot. Are you mocking me? No one mocks the great Zordral. You will pay for your insolence. Oh, really? Then we will kick your ass, my friend. Dead. A single mage against the whole party, not going to happen. Alright, alright! What do we get? A mage rope. Knave's rope it gives us a bonus. Armor class plus one against slashing weapons and the safe with us there's a bonus plus one. We don't really need that. Or oh, you still need your And you could have a shield, I guess. So, what says thou? Yes, friend. Thank you for rescuing me. I'm Bentha, and yes, you could call me a witch, for I do use magic. However, I have no intentions of killing the livestock or seducing the young man. Sordic is an old enemy of mine, one who has caused me and my family great pain over the years. If you had not walked in at that moment, I would have been killed. I must thank you again. Is there anything I can do to help you? No, a good deed done is enough for us. Why? That's very kind of you. But I wouldn't uh, let you leave without a small parting gift. Here, take this. It's a potion that will help you uh, in your heroic endeavors. We gained an item. What did we get? Potion of heroism. Okay. So what do we get here? Money. Just regular stuff, right? Yep. Get out. I said get out. Cluster fuck. Okay. So what do we have here? Alright, alright! Alright, alright! Lots of people. Gamesman, gamesman, commoner. Hello! Take your chance with Lady so I'm fat. Wanna make something out of it? Not that I'm sensitive about it or anything, I just don't need a uh, lanky bean pose rubbing it in my face all the time. Okay. Take your chance with Lady Timora! A toss of the bones to make your fortune. Double your money and a winning roll. No, thanks, I don't wager. You're 
Come on, you can do it. Take your chance with Lady Timora. So there's another tent here. All right, all right. Who are you, boy? Mother said not to talk with strangers. I was good for it. I was good for days and nights, and now I can go to the fair. Okay. Hello, pal. Oh, really? What's up? Ah, oh, sorry. Good day. Consider yourself victimized by. Which year, master thief and picket pocket, uh, pickpocket extraordinaire. No time to chat. Sorry, what? You stole 100 gold. What would you have me do? There he is. Kick his ass. <laughs> so, that's what you get for stealing all right, from all right. me. I don't need a dagger. So. Potion of Heroism. Potion of Master Thievery. That's rather nice. I give that to my thief. And Heroism goes to... Uh, I don't know. Maybe Khalid. So. Did our reputation drop? No. Come in poor, walk out rich. It did not. Oh. Damn, I need more bullets again. Your wish? So, what do we have here? Gamesman, commoner, noblewoman, gamesman. Oh, looks like nothing what we really need. Okay. Come in poor, walk Take your out chance rich. with Lady Timora. No, thank you. I believe. And I think there was another tent here. If you insist. Oh, right, right. I know a discerning eye when I see one. An explorer of the land seeking wonders and oddities. Well, both I have. Unfortunately, I paid thrice the price for my iron wares and not a price assailable. Uh, mayhaps the guard will take more notice when old swords wear and the new snap like twigs in autumn. Nevertheless, you came here to buy and do have something special just for you. These potions are strange magic from a distant shore. Um, a swallow of the violet and the titans might shall possess you. Ever after accepting her strength is yours. Drink down the red mix and your insights will rival elements, though your clarity of thought indefinitely enhanced. To you I offer uh, them at a bargain of price of 50 apiece, the restitution uh, for my depleted selection. If they do not perform as I have promised, your money will uh, cautious. I will consciously refund. Will you leave my hands of the violet? I'll gladly take it, yeah. Okay, your first potion. Yeah, I will take both potions. Why not? That's it. Do I find so little fault with someone. I, have seen, I hope it lasts. I the best. What's that? Wonders I have seen, but I save the best. Hurry up! All right, all right. And what? <laughs> You're a queer fellow. I've done had enough of this. Lockpick failed. It's rather sad. But that one isn't locked. It is locked. Lockpick succeeded. <laughs> Could I take that? Apparently nobody seems to notice. Yes. You're the strongest. Try to break Aye. it. No. What did you get? 
potion of heroism and potion of fire giant strength effect lasts for 10 turns and we have a strength of 22 that's rather nice I must say and what did I get violet potion sets strength to 25 but dexterity to 3 and constitution to 3 lasts for 24 hours hmm. Red Potion sets Intelligence to 25 and Wisdom and Strength to 3. And we resist 50% uh, of all magical damage. Works for 24 hours. I don't know. Nah, I don't think this was. those are nice things. Anything else here? No. What would you have me do? I will probably just sell them. Where's the exit here? If you insist. So here was the guy that summoned the exploding ogre. But he's gone. Maybe because it's getting night? Maybe. Let's explore the rest of the map. I think we got all we need. I mainly came here for the cleric. Because I think we need a decent cleric in our party. Here alone is not enough. Come on, you can do it. To the boat. What do you want? What is your command? So we need to get Don't our cleric to sling. Can I help you? Hurry up! If you insist. So I guess now our party is quite good actually. We have a mage, we have a fighter, we have a fighter druid, an a ranger, a cleric and a thief. But I wanted to have Minsk in the party too. Hmm. I guess if I took on Minsk and Dianira, Diana probably would have to get rid of Khalid and Jahira. Oh, my heart's really Hello? not in this. No, 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 you don't do it. If you stay back. What would you have me do? All right, all right! More kobolds. Yep. Yes, yes oh, oh, omnipresent wish. authority figure. For the fallen! And the other one too. 7 XP, you gotta be kidding me, that's all. That's one point for everybody. Oh, great. Excuse me. There are more kobolds, okay, of course. For the fallen! Okay, we got them. Can I loot now? No. You suck. It's like that. Okay, now move in here. No, move in here. 
So this apparently is the last one. For the fallen! Okay. Hurry up! What would you have me do? Now I can start looting. If corpses. you insist. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. We have money. That's the only thing I'm going to pick up: money and uh, well, things that appear to be expensive. Another cliff. What's that? A cat. Oh. Yes. Okay, looks like there's nothing here. Oh. That was a noble deed. What was a noble deed? Mapping out the area? Yeah, I know. Are you coming? Oh, monsters? Where? What the fuck? That's an ogre berserker. I care not. What do you want? You've a task? <laughs> Hurry up! Uh, yes? Okay, this will be Thy interesting. Nature servant awaits. Is he entangled? Apparently. What would you have me do? Everyone, well. move away. No, he's not entangled. Shit. My blade will okay. But we managed. Your wish?
I guess it would be okay if we could replace Khalid with Minsk. But Shahira probably wouldn't like that. Wait, what's that? Another tent? Well, apparently. Get in there. Commoner. Everybody's sleeping in here. Friend. The Black Lotus. <laughs> okay, they're all stoned. It expands your mind. You should try sometime. Well, not now. I don't do drugs. Anything else? Can we? No. The barrel is not a clickable item. All right, all right. Not raining outside. I don't know whether you can hear that. An hour ago I was still taking a sun bath on the balcony, but now... It's bad weather! Cat. And chicken. Cat and chicken? I thought it was cow and chicken? Chicken and cow? Ah, I don't know. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, another chest. Of course, it's locked. Hurry up! Very well. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. I've done had enough of this. Yay. Money. Okay. What would you have me do? Money is always welcome. If you insist. Several small tents. Oh. Just in case. And we kill another kobold. No! no, everybody attack him. And now everybody attack him. Ah! All dead now. Right. Yeah, of course, more kobolds. For the fallen! And uh, more. Oh wow, there's a whole bunch of them actually. Tempest! Ah! Oh, oh, it is but a flesh wound. Yeah, this sucks. Your wish? If you insist. 
No, not you. What is your command? You. Hurry up! Yes. Oh, what do you want? Too many of them. My blade will cut you down to size. Saka, what are you doing? Very well. Attack them. What would you have me do? Fire. Thank you. There's another one. Hurry up! Oh, my heart's really not in this. Did we get them all? Almost. So, and that's pretty much the rest of the level. How many HP do you have left? Five. But okay, could be worse. Anyone still with You've the ability to cast a healing spell? Hello. No. Well then, try to rest. You do not dream often, but tonight the visions are vivid indeed. Long have you walked, but now you find yourself back amidst the stones of Candlekeep. Your former home looms before you. But the gate is closed and barred. Over the walls there is a candle in your old room. But as the light goes out, the brick surrounding the window closes together. The very walls conspire to keep you at bay. A familiar voice startles you. Though it is calm and caring, you cannot go back this way, child. You must go on. Gorion forms before you. And though his image should be comforting, it seems but a shade of his living self. He is dead in your dreams, as in life. The phantom of your foster father gestures toward the blackness of the wood, as though it should be inviting. Perhaps it is, in a way, but the traveling will be hard. As you think this, a smooth and obvious path becomes clear out of the corner of your eye. It seems meant for you, pulls at your very being, and promises to quickly lead you away from the life you once led. Perhaps this would be for the best, but it is a bit too convenient for your liking. You do not wish to dwell upon the loss you have endured, but neither should it be forgotten. Gorion smiles and fades away. The pull becomes a push, but you turn away. Steadfast in your new direction, the way is not quite as clear but it is sure to be interesting nonetheless. A whisper follows as you stride away, something vestigial and sinister that you recognize, but yet have never heard. You will learn. You don't look back. Okay. Never saw that before. And I gained a special ability, Cure Light Wounds. That's rather useful, I say. Where what is would it? you have me do? No. Your wish? Oh, it's. I think it's here. Cure light wounds. By temper shield. Cool. Okay. Hurry so up. this has been quite a long episode, so we will take a break here. 
So, thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. Bye.